week three lecture. This is uh, the upcoming lecture for September 11th through the 16th, I believe. Yes. All right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with lesson six. We're going to skip around a little bit. We had eight and nine last week. And the reason for this, I wanted you guys to stay immersed with the HTML foundations versus jumping into the CSS and JavaScript because we are, I believe, uh, we're not ready just yet to jump in into those other topics without mastering the HTML fundamentals. <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and kick it off with lesson six. So, um, Going from our book here on lesson six, working with fonts, text, blocks, and tables. I'm not going to read off directly from the book, but I'm just going to give you guys a brief overview of what I'm expecting for you guys to go ahead and read. And um, I am noticing that the book is very vague on some of the topics. Um, therefore, I do uh, request that you guys continue to use external resources. Have uh, Said I'm a big proponent for W3 schools, <clears throat> and perhaps even Khan Academy can give you some good advice on how to uh, enhance your coding. But the basic fundamentals, yes, this book might provide. Um, we'll go ahead and jump into uh, our font sizes. So we're going to scroll on to our book bit here. Um, it goes a little bit into our font sizes, tweaking the fonts using CSS styles. Um, <clears throat> there is a common misconception between CSS and CSS styles. I know the, B, the book references both as CSS. Uh, what well, CSS stands for is Cascading Style Sheets. Um, normally, it's a separate um, completely different animal working with a separate page and it's formatted differently and you have all the CSS tags on the page now you can have CSS styling within your HTML document and with those we are gonna learn about how to use styles uh, as we have uh, used in the previous eight and nine uh, lessons <clears throat> lessons eight and nine so we're gonna go ahead and apply that same uh, rhetoric into the lesson six in enhancing the styles in our fonts using special characters, doing alignments, and in including tables. Um, I'm running a little short on time as far as what I can explain to you guys. Like uh, I said, this requires most of reading on your behalf to um, analyze and uh, Get familiar with all these terms, like I said, all these tags, all these elements, all these attributes are based on the reading material. And so I can only give you an outline here of what I'm expecting. So uh, we're running through our special characters. Yes, the defining HTML <coughs> entities and their purposes. So these are your special characters, please. Get familiar with them. Do not have to memorize them, but just get familiar with uh, some of these are, are going to be uh, very common, especially your dollar symbols uh, <clears throat> when working with money. Okay. Also, keep in mind a lot of these samples here are giving our dead giveaways of what I'll be expecting later in the actual code. So when you create a section, <clears throat> it's going to be highlighted with such tags. If it's uh, going to require a particular style, we see here immediately that they've gone and incorporated CSS styling within the HTML document. So this is what I mean of we're using CSS styles in an HTML document. It's completely different from CSS style sheet, which is, you know, that's what it, uh, the acronyms for CSS means a style sheet. Kind of separate, separate, completely separate paper <clears throat> or a sheet or a document or a file used in conjunction with HTML. It usually references to the CSS page 
<clears throat> um, CSS, you normally, we're going to learn that back when we get through with the HTML. Um, CSS is normally used when you want to gl globally create a style for all of your sheets. So you don't have to be running the same code over and over and over and over and over again, like uh, through different pages. You make one CSS style sheet and then you reference it on the rest of the pages. <clears throat> so that is helpful. Now, inline styling you have to be familiar with because in you know if you're only going to make one page but you want to incorporate some of these extra attributes in this particular case we're adding margins so we're quickly addressing it under style tag and closing it off with a style tag but we're putting the section here with anything within the section is going to be labeled I mean it's going to be um, addressed with such Okay, so what I mean by that is that every section from here all forth section, attribute section section <clears throat> or section element is going to have that spacing. So we have one section here, two sections here, three sections here, four sections here, five. Close. I mean, closing tags, open and closing tags. So therefore, what you've created here with this style tag by adding what's what particular tag you want that to be enforced under is going to duplicate that particular setting on any of the tags mentioned okay so here we have one two three four sections that are all gonna have the same setting as far as the attribute of 20 points on the padding I hope that the clarifies that's like I said CSS style versus CSS style sheet <clears throat> um, completely different okay so we're gonna continue with our alignments and our lists we had a, worked a little bit with eight and nine on lists ordered lists and unordered lists hope you guys are familiar with those already because <clears throat> we're gonna be continuing to use those items or those elements or those attributes in the upcoming week's assignments, week three. Now, week two is still in effect. Uh, I purposely inserted that um, that assignment with some of those tasks uh, just to, for you guys to get familiar on the elements. Uh, typically, I mean. Uh, I anticipated they'd be listed on 8 and 9, and unfortunately, it requires a little bit of additional research, but that's what I want you guys to also <clears throat> be uh, taking note that whatever you might not in, uh, understand right off the bat, I do highly encourage you guys to do the bit of a research. Um, all this... Uh, technical and uh, regarding to technology sometimes you have to Google the items most of the times with any particular problem like I said you're not going to know it off the top of your head but still have to learn how to find the resources so my tasks are in embedded in those assignments uh, whatever you're not familiar with whatever you're not uh, know off the top of your head I want you guys to look for those resources. I mean, the internet is full of resources, and I've mentioned a few going back to my special recommendations with W3 and um, even Khan Academy. But very important, very important to not um, <clears throat> um, shut down in the sense that you're not restricted to the bounds of this book to create code um, there are a lot of resources out there and I want you guys to be um, experts in googling stuff uh, that whatever you need uh, looks at you're never gonna re remember stuff out of the top of your head uh, and just like right now uh, if you're not familiar with some 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 of the information on the assignments that I'm requesting 
um, always ask questions and always know where to find it. And that's m my take on uh, a lot of these assignments. <clears throat> might be becoming more frequent and I do extend the uh, deadlines for submitting some of the inf some of these assignments and I was being conscious about um, what you guys know and what you guys do not know now of course some of you guys are majoring in other fields and want to learn about coding uh, like I said if the particular information that I'm requesting is not directly from the chapters or from the book that I'm requesting be conscious about it and take the, the initiative to uh, look and find resources that will help you accomplish the end goal. All right, so we're going to go ahead and continue. Apologies for that little rant there, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and continue. Upcoming 6.3 and 6.4. 6.3. This is going to be very, very similar to the assignment that you guys can be uh, assigned this week. Now you can guys, I, I do ask that you guys look up uh, resume samples. Uh, I'm gonna insert my personal um, rendition of website of what I'm gonna be requiring, what it should look like. Similarly, it's not exactly what I'm gonna request, but I want you guys to have the idea of formatting. The idea of <clears throat> using those elements, the H1 tags, the P's, the, the paragraph tags, the breaks, the headers, the sections, and all that stuff, being and start rolling it up into something useful. Um, in the assignment, you're going to see uh, it's very simple. I'm not going to ask for any other formatting styles and uh, colors and stuff like that. Uh, we're going to take a little backseat, but I do want you guys to practice uh, your basic tags and doing so this will also be mean very meaningful for you guys to create your resume and have it somewhere online re residing with your personal don don domain name <clears throat> and this will be uh, very helpful uh, later on all right so we talked about that uh, upcoming lab assignment will have a video de dedicated for that okay so next up is our okay okay the alignments very this is going to be directly reflecting this is exactly what i'm going to be requiring or requesting for your for your um, assignment very simple minimal formatting um, just get familiar with the divs get familiar with creating all these little unordered lists here, no, not they're not numbered, or but in the assignment, I will request uh, a couple of changes. Okay, so we talked about alignments. This is also very helpful here. Alignment with uh, texts. <coughs> Okay, so we're going to fast forward to our tables, creating a simple table. I'm not re um, this goes for towards week two's assignment. Again, it's not due until this upcoming week in the 16th. So I already gave you a chance to go over it. Um, this will give you a much clearer idea of how to incorporate tables into your into your code and here is a direct reflection of exactly what I'm requesting here uh, go back to the chapter read the differences between the th the headers and the, the data <clears throat> the th and the table rows and the table cells individual cells these are all formatting tools of how to organize data in your website so now styling I'm not requiring any styling on the table itself on weeks two assignment 
So this here you can um, omit, but still get a good picture of what can be uh, created. See, there's no bounds of what you can and cannot do. All right, this here would have been an assignment, but we're gonna leave that for another rainy day. Okay. Uh, this is more incorporating CSS. And once again, the style, uh, this I'm not requesting any of this at all for week three uh, and very minimal on week two. And that was basically it. Some six, seven. Uh, I'm gonna dab on chapter or le lesson seven with uh, a little bit on hyperlinks. So the only two pages I want you to take from one from lesson seven is page one seventy three. Here we go. Page linking between your own web content. Just keep a little, get a little bit of a read on this. This is the exact code of how to reference a, another page into your uh, code. And this allows you to have a link between pages. So 173 and 174 gives you a brief overview on how to create a hyperlink. And the reason I'm bringing that up is because I would like for everybody to get in tune because the following week's assignment is going to look like this. <clears throat> uh, following week's assignment, we're going to do a, a overhaul on your index page. This is our index page because there is no additional tags on on uh, there's no additional tags on the URL so this is what we're gonna end up doing we're gonna incorporate some of those elements that we've already learned along with some you know, elements we're gonna learn this upcoming week we talked about uh, in the book you your you went over how to create hyperlinks on images and if not, then was, this will be on the upcoming uh, chapter reviews. Um, another thing we did, I did uh, that will be very useful: get familiar with texts and colored backgrounds. This is just a text, and it's actually high, highlighting text backgrounds. And what this is this is an, a live link. And what I'm going to end up wanting you guys to do, just to get you guys feet wet, we're going to be using pictures as hyperlinks. For instance, that was our first assignment. This is our week two assignment. Week two. Week three assignment. Week three. This is my resume. We'll go back to reviewing some of the elements in that resume week four assignment and this is where i talk about your index page being getting a complete overhaul and then <clears throat> on the assignment itself i ask you guys to introduce to me a topic you guys want to start coding or start preparing for uh, i created this link right here and i've already created a back end page noted final project it doesn't have to be final say exactly that but you get the gist of what i'm going to want you guys to start working on very very soon probably by week five have uh, uh something created for that page so <clears throat> this is my lure shop and you guys can learn how to do some javascript and make stuff interactive so this right here makes my, my page interactive and it's all done with JavaScript on the back end. All right, we'll learn that later. But I want you guys to get 
to know that the reason we're jumping into hyperlinks and <clears throat> and uh, tables and headings and stuff like that is so that you guys can start creating and start manipulating stuff uh, more especially later on uh, become more a little bit more organized like I mentioned before week one assignment this is gonna be your portfolio when you leave our class here and you want to look for a job that's prospecting into web design uh, you have your own little portfolio says so you know what I know how to you know this is my very first assignment that was assigned to us and my first very first web page uh, this here was in uh, incorporating some elements and of course then week three is my resume you can change the order of these but it will be all packed into one nice portfolio that's organized and and colorful All right so it's covered chapter six and a couple of pages on chapter seven I'm gonna include my very own um, page just like this let me see if I can pull it up All right, I'm going to incorporate this into my lesson lectures from here on. Uh, exactly what I'm requiring for everybody to learn. So we talked about chapter six, the basic stuff, and chapter seven, only page 73 and 74 out of it. Just basically learn what the anchor tag is, the href, so that you can do um, reference other pages on by hyperlinks using hyperlinks and your coding all right I'm going to have a uh, another virtual meeting on Monday the 11th 6 p.m. so uh, I'm gonna make the announcement if I have not already made it and uh, hope to answer the rest of your questions I'm going to be adding the list of us lab assistants that can help you um, during daylight hours. <clears throat> I'm going to try to be more clear of my expectations for the upcoming labs. And of course, all of you that have been reaching out, I've been very um, progressive as far as reaching out back uh, in a timely manner. To answer those questions for you and uh, of course today we had a meeting virtual meeting to address some of those questions that you have and if you still have questions regarding those same questions <laughs> or you have not ha had that answer to it I would advise you guys to look at that video uh, I know I took notes from the messages from blackboard and I tried to directly um, answer them so take the time, review the video for the um, virtual meeting, and if you still have questions, uh, message me. All right. So this concludes our lecture for week three, and keep an eye out for the upcoming lab video. So with that, I'll leave you guys, and see you soon.